everybody it's david wilkes and i just want to thank you for watching this video and if you haven't done it yet subscribe hit a like button and also smash that notification bell so that you can catch all of my videos as i upload them some of them are crazy some of them are smart some of them are really really intelligent but for the most part sometimes it's just sharing a little bit of information that i have with you so maybe if you're getting into a situation like i have today you'll know what to do where to go and how to how to fix something when everything seems to go wrong um i've always said you can't judge a trailer by its boat and today's example is no different this gorgeous 36 foot nortec super cat can fly at 160 plus miles an hour with its twin supercharged big block engines um it's always awesome when you can go really really fast and while boats don't have brakes their trailers should and this one is a myco and this myco trailer is triple axles it has brakes on two of those three axles but they don't work and i picked it up about an hour and a half ago yeah we gotta go to florida with it the dexter actuator is not a bad actuator um but this one is definitely locked up i would put direct power to its blue wire and had her grounded good and it did not fire up it didn't it was not happy um so being that eastern marine is on the way i stopped here and got everything i need a brand new hydrostar um actuator a couple lights a new seven-way plug all the connections all the goodies that i'll need to make this system work with a battery backup and the whole nine yards breakaway switch everything to make it look safe or operate safely so let's get a little quick walk around this boat is gorgeous she is definitely a beauty it's called gunslinger it is a gorgeous super cat the art of design they do phenomenal, phenomenal paintwork. Absolutely amazing paintwork. Back here are some beautiful Mercury Racing drives. If you've seen these and you didn't know what these are, what this does is it allows air to be sucked in and come out down here ahead of the propeller. And the way that that works is it's kind of like slipping the clutch you're introducing airflow ahead of the propeller these propellers are so much pitch say it's a 36 inch propeller that means in one revolution it would travel forward 36 inches so ouch that's razor sharp i think i just cut myself um so <clears throat> by introducing air while the boat's going slowly it allows this propeller to slip a little bit so the motor can get up onto its power band and really take off. And as you see this bullet, the prop shaft height is just above the bottom of the boat. So when this thing's really moving, only half of this propeller is actually in the water. The rest of it is in the air. Um, it's a phenomenal design. It works very, very well. A lot of power as you look down the tunnel the tunnel gets tighter in which it does it squeezes the air lifts the boat up out of the water and then it becomes a magic carpet ride so i'm gonna get to work because i got a lot of work to do right now to rebuild these brakes or not the brakes but install this actuator and i'll give you an update when i'm done all right well it's only been a few hours but i think i've done my record electric over hydraulic actuator break off battery a breakaway battery installation with a harness and uh here it is got the hydrostar marine edition wired up i didn't have a box or anything to put them in and they didn't have anything here at eastern marine but we've got the seven-way cable brand new molded cable with tin copper wire securely mounted this time instead of zip tied to the brake lines brand new battery for the backup brand new safety lanyard because the other one was frozen it wouldn't pull out if you pull this out you hear that work immediately 
and that's what it's supposed to do. And uh, got the safety lanyard hooked up. Uh oh, that sounds sweet. Got the cable here. Everything's looking good. So I'm gonna walk in Eastern Marine and show you guys what that place is like because it's like unreal. Um, I'm gonna walk in the store here and I want to show you why this is the best place in the United States. Period to buy your trailer parts and the stuff that you need to get you on the road safely. Let's see. Hi mom, I'm home. <laughs> so they have an assortment of wheels. There's actually a much bigger assortment and I get all my wheels here as well. Um, pretty much every wheel I've purchased for the last six years I've gotten here. These are badass. If you got like a pontoon boat trailer and you need some high speed 12 inch, they've got those. And then if you got the little bitty ones, the eight inch, these are awesome. Anyway, check it out. They even got the 12 inch and then down there 13s. So if you need some rims or wheels, I can't say rims. Rims are the things that go around a wheel. But they've got that starting here in the wheels. And then we'll go over here. If you're into fishing, man, they got you hooked up. This is what you use when you're broken down on the side of the road. The wheel chocks to hold everything down. These are really heavy duty. These are awesome. A whole assortment of trailer jacks and different foots like if you want the big foot like if you got a really heavy boat trailer and your trailer came with this one over here and i'm probably moving this a little too fast um but they have everything that you need for your trailer jack trailer parts and stuff like that they've recently redone this entire lighting section now most of y'all know i buy all my lighting from grand general because it's waterproof and it's sealed and it's great in salt water and for the last six years i've only been through a couple lights that would fail but as you see they have a full assortment of leds these are all packaged with the pigtails and the, and the pieces that go with it correctly um over here they've got license plate brackets i always buy these these are great these are stainless steel license plate holders here's a good offset one so it puts it back underneath the fenders so Hopefully the easy tag lane won't tag your trailer and then send you a ticket. <clears throat> no, I don't know how that ever happens. <clears throat> there are all sorts of tie downs and stuff. Now this is what's awesome. They have the flush seat track right here. You can buy it right here and then you can buy all the accessories to pop it in for heavy duty lockdowns. This is really, really cool. This little here has a recess track. So if you put it in the floor of your RV or on your trailer, you can not have to step over the uh, D-ring. And then they have the individual mount kits as well. Uh, a lot of heavy duty stuff over here to the right. And then these are for boxes and, and bars so you can put bars in, which is really, really cool if you have an enclosed trailer. This is more like the fishing section, but beyond the fishing section, they also have a lot of the lighting accessories as well. So if you need the special, Heat shrink fit, uh, butt, butt splices, all the Phillips connectors. These are tinned copper. They're really, really good. It's what I just used on the trailer out there. They're a molar tank dealer. So if you know what size tank or what kind of configuration for your boat or even for your RV or even for your generator, they have it here in stock. Now, let me get back over to the meat and potatoes because what I deal with is trailers. And I'm going to share with you awesome awesome deals on trailer parts they have tires on the wheels ready to go hub kits you can't get around without having a spare hub kit and these hundred thousand mile stickers the, the warranty is about as good as this sticker says um and that's i mean as much as what the sticker's worth uh, you can't let any trailer go a hundred thousand miles without checking the bearings. I don't care what they tell you. Um, take it from me. I've put over a hundred thousand miles on my trailer and I go through the hubs every 20,000 miles and put them all new bearings. Here's one thing a lot of people don't see much. These are stainless steel lug nuts. I've got them right here. These don't rust. Now, let me give you a, a tip on a boat trailer where the outside of the stud is exposed to the elements. You want a closed-end lug nut. 
because that way if you ever have to take the wheel off the lug nut doesn't have to go and be backed up over rusted or corroded threads the threads inside here stay clean um, discount tire will sell you a set of steel lug nuts and they're zinc coated they're pretty good lug nuts i think it's 32 dollars for a whole box but you can buy the stainless ones here do not ever buy these this is a a little chrome stainless cap over another lug nut and what happens when it starts to corrode and you don't have the right size socket or wrench on it this outer cap will spin and you'll you'll be cussing life trying to get it off just just a heads up on that but yeah they've got all the dexter parts all the seals bearings bearing kits everything you need you got a bad axle if your name is james allen <laughs> And even you put a brand new one on and it's still bent because your boat seems to weigh a lot more than 3,500 pounds. That's where you get it. All the axle kits for mounting. All the U-bolts. You can get zinc, stainless, or galvanized. They have it all. All the little pieces, the ends, and everything else. Here's the, here's the brakes. <clears throat> you got the big drum kits here. That's for... Uh, utility trailers big commercial direct trailers these are drum backing plates in stock check this out don't go buy shoes you can buy the entire assembly for 55 bucks you see that these are left and right hand setups but you can buy the entire backing plate the electric assembly everything 55 bucks you can't spend your time is worth more than 55 bucks don't ever rebuild it this is, these are the rebuild kits, the magnet kits. Look, see that? For the price of the magnet kit, see what I'm saying? 55 bucks. You can't beat it. These are the right hand ones. Those are the lefts. All the pieces, if you had a, a crash bang surge uh, coupler, these are all the parts to fix it. I should tell you, throw them away because they're junk. If you have, um, drum brakes on your trailer or you want to add brakes to your trailer they have the complete kits it's everything it's the caliper the rotor the hub everything 325 dollars and that's per axle excuse me that's not it that's one 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 wheel at a time sorry about that the axle kits are down here these are the axle kits and that's a kodiak kit that's what i just put on the, the trailer that we built baby shaps trailer that's what i used i'm beginning to learn that no good story goes unpunished so when i ask people what the tire date is on their tires there's a real good reason it's because over the last six seven years of transporting i've come to understand and learn that any tire that's over four years old trailer tire or otherwise is susceptible to failure well last night was no different first on it this is a bad i got a badass truck but this dude took it to the next level <laughs> that is sick as hell <clears throat> so i run these tire pressure monitors and i'll add the photo to the screen but here's what happened it separated and then became a mohawk going down the road now, the issue is, and I'll find it on here, when you have a tire, now that means that tire was manufactured in the 50th week of 2015. That's a six year old tire. So it came apart and did a little bit of damage. Now all this will come off with WD-40, that'll be easy to fix. The fender, a little work with the crescent wrench and it'll be back together. But we're on our way to discount tire. I just wanna share with you guys experience and knowing what you know is what saves money in the long run. Um, and time, because this is now wasted a whole full day and cost me a schedule so 
That's why I, I just tell people, if your tires are four years or older, you need new ones. Because trailer tires are just not as dependable as you'd want them to be. I wanted to make sure these things were working. Yeah. For some reason, this puppy doesn't want to work. And it's probably because they got scotch locks and everything else holding it together. Who knows? That's about to fall out of there. So I got two lights that aren't working. Wonderful. Oh well. Let's get the gunslinger back on the road. That thing is badass. DJ Magic. That's awesome. Well, here we are again. At a discount tire. Replacing trailer tires. We're using two 10 ton jacks under the axles to easily support the trailer so we don't have any flex. That's why Davis is. <laughs> trying my best. He's doing his best. He's doing a great job. He's kicking ass and taking names. This tire here is already starting to separate. And you see the tread block. We had one that went boom. And we replaced it with the new Carlisle G-rated tires. Yes, you can let your kids watch this. G-rated tires. These are high speed, 110 PSI. And these are made in Check this number out. Speed rated to 81 miles an hour. They're the highest load range, highest speed rated tire on the industry in this series. The Goodyears are not rated higher. And I've had the Goodyears and the Goodyears are scary as can be. But this is what happened when you when the tire fails. This will all come off with WD-40, see it just wipes off on my finger we'll get that all cleaned up get it to the blue beacon truck wash and get it all taken care of but the crew here at discount in henrico virginia has been amazing i really can't say enough about how top notch they uh, have been today to help out they're doing a great job <clears throat> Braking systems worked well. I've kind of kept it turned down a little bit because I didn't want to put too much tension on those brakes, not knowing them, but they worked out really well. I'll have to jump there and mount that spare tire back. If you got any questions about what we're doing, leave it in the comments. Any criticism? Yeah, leave that too. I'm always down to see what people have to say she's a gorgeous boat truly is
right your way. 